to Ethiopia, the month-long conflict between the federal government and the powerful regional governments of Tigray has escalated in the past week. Latest coming in, the Ethiopian government has claimed that a senior politician linked to the rebellion in the northern region of Tigray has surrendered. A post uh, retweeted by Ethiopia's Ministry of Foreign Affairs says that one of the nine executive committee leaders of the TPLF, Kiria Ibrahim has surrendered to federal forces. These claims are difficult to verify because phone and internet communication to the region is down and access tightly controlled. Ethiopian Prime Minister A.B. Ahmed, who is the winner of last year's Nobel Peace Prize, ordered military operations against leaders of Tigray's ruling party, the Tigray People's Liberation Front, in response to what he claims are TPLF organized attacks on Ethiopian federal army camps. The civilians have become pawns in this game. Meanwhile, the United Nations is showing worry over the humanitarian crisis that the ongoing conflict has unfolded. According to the refugee agency, more than 96,000 Eritrean refugees in northern Tigray region are in urgent need of basic amenities. UNHCR, the UN Refugee Agency, is today appealing to the federal authorities in Ethiopia for urgent access in order to reach Eritrean refugees in the Tigray region who are in desperate need of humanitarian assistance and services. Our concerns are growing by the hour. Joining us on this broadcast uh, is Coletta Wanjohi and uh, joining us from uh, Addis uh, Ababa. Coletta, welcome to Beyond. Thank you so much for giving us your time. So one of the leaders of uh, the Tigray region has surrendered to uh, the Ethiopian forces. That's what uh, we are learning as of now. Is it the end of the conflict? That's what everyone wants to know. Well, uh, the person who has surrendered, we would call her one of the key members of the Tigray People's Liberation Front. She has been one of the nine executive members of, of, of the, the party. And uh, her surrender is ki kind of significant uh, because uh, she was the speaker of the parliament between 2018 until 2020 June when she resigned and said that she was resigning because the government had, uh, had uh, decided that it would postpone the August polls. The National Electoral Board had said it's because of COVID-19 pandemic, but her and her party, the TPLF, had said that this, this was against the Constitution. So she said that her, I mean, her resignation was uh, on a matter of principle, according to what she believed and her party believed. Her resignation was quite a big blow to the Prime Minister and his government, and uh, that kind of uh, opened up. Uh, the, the, the conflict really between the TPLF and the, the, the ruling party now. And uh, her surrender, according to the government, uh, is significant because uh, we know that they're still looking for about 68 more people and the government is urging more people to, to surrender, hoping that they'll be able to be brought to book in an easy way. United Nations has also warned of a humanitarian crisis in the Tigray region. What can you tell us about that? Well, the, the United Nations says, uh, the UNHCR says it needs about $150 million urgently to be able to assist more than 41,000 uh, Ethiopians who have fled into neighboring Sudan in just a span of about a month. So they are talking about humanitarian crisis, uh, Sudan bearing the brunt of the, of the war or the conflict in Ethiopia. But also on the other side, they are asking for humanitarian corridor into the Tigray region itself. It hosts about uh, close to 100,000 uh, Eritrean refugees in that region, and they need help and they need basic needs. And we've, we know that the international crisis, uh, uh, ICRC, which is the International Committee of Red Cross, says uh, one of the hospitals in the region is running out of medication, running out of body bags, so they need help immediately. And that's why the UN keeps saying it needs uh, the, the, the government to open up humanitarian corridors so that people can be assisted further. Otherwise, uh, there will be a humanitarian crisis. Thank you so much for joining us uh, and getting us the latest on the crisis in Tigray.